Hi, I'm Margaret Ryle. Thanks for coming back and welcome to the third tutorial in the Action Research Online course. This one is called Finding Your Research Question. In the last tutorial, we worked on understanding action research. We focused on the process of doing action research. In this tutorial, the goal is to help you locate the central challenge of your action research project. We're going to do this by developing action research questions to guide your work. In the next tutorial, we will continue the planning by exploring the questions you develop here. So in all of these, you will find on the website um, a set of resources to explore and then a set of activities to do. So let's start with the resources. In doing research, what you're doing is exploring the set of relationships between events, and events in, can be as small as cellular communication, as large as interspace um, shifts. But in action research, you're always looking on the social plane. You're always looking at events between and among people in places. These actions are influenced by community practices, and it's in this sphere that you will be doing your work. So action research is clearly located within the social sciences and you're looking at, at how different perspectives on activities influence the outcomes in a social setting. Um, you'll be looking at networks of people, networks of people working together in different ways, and you'll be trying to understand how change takes place in a complex social system. You're not going to be trying to um, as we talked about last time, you're not going to be trying to isolate variables, but really looking at the whole activity system. So one of the ways of finding questions is to explore your values. And so the activities for tutorial three center around looking at your values. And the goal of these activities is to help you center on an action research or a challenge that will be at the center of your action research process. So the first activity is a value search. What we're going to try and do is help you identify the values that are really core to your, to your being, to the way you want to work in the world. So I've set a couple questions out here, and you can answer these in your blog, or you can answer others that you think of as your as you're thinking through one or more of these questions. But the questions I've identified are things like what drives you, what challenges you, what keeps you up at night and, and appears as the most important issue when you are about to go to work. What things are you deeply curious about? How would you most like to change? What are the changes that you would be most proud of? And if you, if I were to say that you were an expert in some area, what area would that be? What area do you want to develop your expertise? So spend some time in your blog. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that you're keeping a blog because that's so important for the action research process. The blog will help you document the changes that take place in you as you're trying to affect changes in a social setting. So your blog is your data and it is really important to keep it. I know that um, it's sometimes hard to, in our busy lives to find time to do writing that is that feels private, but it is really important to do. The next way I would like you to think about your core values is to just make a list. So um, either on the computer or on a piece of paper, write down as many values as you can think of that are really critical to you. And then once you've identified a set of values, then I'd like you to start thinking about which ones are at the core. I want you to work at getting your list, paring your list down to somewhere between three and five values. And you can do this by either combining values into a, a more inclusive value, or you can do it by prioritizing and figuring out which ones are most important to you. Once you've done that, I'd like you to generate a story that either that describes how this value is important to you. It might be a story of something that's happened in the past. That set, it might be something that sets the stage for something that's going to happen in the future. 
but in some way give us a a storied or narrative version of why this value is so important to you. And if you are working in a learning circle or you have critical friends who are you doing action research with, share your stories with them. The next activity is to go from your values to forming your question. So you might ask yourself, are my core values evident in my workplace? Is there a perfect alignment between the way I want to work and the way I have to work? Often there is not, and action research is a way of pulling your workplace in a direction that is in better alignment with both your values and the shared values of the people that you work with. So starting from your different values, think about an overall question that you might ask. And how-to questions are fine. So um, how can I improve my leadership skills to create a more cohesive team? How can I inspire the people in our office to work more collaboratively and efficiently on projects? How might I better prepare nurses for the complexity of their role? How can I help uh, students be more engaged in their uh, learning activities? How can I help students understand more deeply what it means to learn something? These are the kinds of questions that I want you to um, create. And often in the beginning, action researchers form a number of questions to sort of narrow down to the, to the topic or the challenge that they want to focus their action research on. So it's okay if you leave with a few research questions. Okay, so now you need to do the activities. Um, good luck, and I hope that they net a really good, clear action research question for you, and that you come back and join us for the next tutorial where we will help you think about planning your action research. So see you next time.